The new web part powered by AI, which allows you to create FAQ content in a SharePoint page, is out and it's already available in preview. So you can build your page, FAQ page, in a few minutes. Let me show you how you can do that. Let's go. Here I am in uh, my SharePoint home site. Let's start by clicking on the new button in order to create a new page. This dropped me in the templates gallery pages. I made a video about how to use it. So for the sake of the demo, I'm going to click on create blank. We want to start from scratch. So let me add some title here on this page. FAQ climate change. All right. So I can also pick an image if I want. Let me go with a stock image. Let's go with this one. Insert. There we go. Perfect. Now, all right. I don't need this text web part. What I'm going to do is removing it and now add a new web part. If you don't have selected all, you are not going to see this new web part. By the way, this is also available under AI category. So, but if you have another selection, probably you are not going to see immediately this. But having all selected, this new web part is immediately available under AI category. And this one is the FAQ web part. Powered AI by Copilot. So, Placing this on the page, it gives me immediately the panel on the right, the ability to add files. So the idea here is to use some content that I already have in order to generate automatically through the AI my FAQ page. So for that thing, I'm going to select some file that I have here so I'm going to target this Word document that I have on this SharePoint site, which is climate change. And I'm going to add another one, which is transition to AV. All right. Down below, I have the purpose. So this helps AI to get more information and in order to get the best outcome possible. What I have here is event product. I'm talking about a product or policy or just let's stay general and then here I can even refine the result by providing more details to the AI so in this case I'm going to keep it blank and now I'm going to hit the button start what is going to happen under the hood is the generation of categories so what I have here now are categories according to the files that I selected. So I'm going to have as a first category, climate change, environmental impact, AV technology, economic factors, government infrastructure, battery, sustainability. All right. So what I can do here now is rearrange the order of these categories if I want, just by selecting the ellipsis button here and dragging and drop the category. So let's have climate change on top. This is totally fine. Now, the next step would be drafting questions. Okay, I don't want to do manually. I want to start from a solid structure. Then eventually I can follow up and modify things. Now, what I have here is a draft of questions. How does transportation contribute to climate change? What rule? Do electric vehicles play in reducing emissions? And so on and so forth. So as you can see, under every category, I have three questions. And here again, what I can do is drag and drop questions to rearrange the order. So here I can even add manually some question. So let's say that one question is missing for a specific category. I can fill the gap by going over this button and add the question. Now, there is a third step, which is drafting answers. Now, I don't want to write all answers manually, but I want to start from something. And this is where AI comes. So now what I have here is answer to this question. 
transportation is a major source of global carbon dioxide emissions traditionally vehicles and so on so this is very very cool i am faq page already built in a matter of seconds one or two minutes it's incredible so if you have the content already there ready to go it's just a matter of clicking on the links and buttons and you have a very basic but ready to go faq page so now here i have also collapsible sections so we were used in the past to do it this to realize this structure manually using using a collapsible sections on the page now you don't need anymore to struggle with that but this is automatically done by this web part so now what i can do i can delete or i can jump back to the previous step or i can decide to keep it so in my case i'm going to keep it it's very ready to go and you know what i can even rearrange the order or re-edit some specific question or section is this doesn't fit my needs if you open the property panel this is what you have now here for the icons what we have is icon so you can change the icon chevron and plus minus so if i select this this is going to change but if i select this i'm going to go back or again on chevron this is what you have the purpose can be changed again if you need to regenerate the content but this is how it works so now i can drop another web part here so if you click on get started you can immediately add the files that you need or you can just do it here by clicking on this button now i'm going to target the same file selecting general and here i can write more so i added some description here just to help the ai to refine better the content highlight the usage of batteries and the impact that they have so let's hit the button start let me close the panel and let me go back here so environmental impact battery usage technological advantages economic factors okay let's draft questions now as you can see i'm highlighting now the battery usage and the environmental impact of batteries so this is is very important if you need to refine the content with specific description all right so i can draft also answers and there you go i have my page very really to go under battery usage i have questions and the answer that's it so i'm pretty done i can now click on publish and my page is very ready to go i can post it as a news so i'm going to have it in the very uh, first position of my news web board. and there we go so clicking on this now will drop me on the page that i just created in a few minutes all right we have seen the new sharepoint web part to create faq content if you enjoyed this video please consider to subscribe and like i hope to see you next time